guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I'll be showing you guys how I make my upside down pineapple cake so for this you are going to be needing a burnt pan um, I already went ahead and took a stick of butter and basically um, rub it all over my pan and take a little flour and coat it and just shake off the excess now for the topping you are going to be needing um, one stick of butter and half a cup of brown sugar one can of pineapple slices make sure it is in 100% pineapple juice and you're going to be needing some cherries now for the for the cake batter you are going to be needing one and one fourth cup of milk and you're going to be needing three cups of flour into my flour I have four teaspoon of baking powder two tablespoon of cornstarch and half a teaspoon of salt you're also going to be needing one and two fourth cup of sugar and half a cup of vegetable oil one stick of butter four eggs two teaspoon of vanilla extract and make sure you preheat your oven to 350 degrees please check the description box where i will list everything i use in this video let's get cooking guys okay so to get started you want to go ahead and melt one stick of butter and pour it into your pan and now i'm going to cut my pineapple slices in two just like this and now you want to go ahead and take your brown sugar and just sprinkle it on top of that melted butter let me bring it this way don't have to be anything fancy there's really um, no special way of doing this I think most people's upside down cake is pretty much the same basic way of doing it just like this hope you guys will have a fantastic Christmas and now you can be a little fancy and just place the pineapples in each of those um, of those spots here so I'm just going to place one in each spot you can do it as close or as um, wide as you want but I like a lot of pineapples in mine so I'm going to do mine close to each other at least until I run out of pineapples what's your guys' plan for Christmas let me know what you guys have on your menu for Christmas and if you use any of my recipes don't forget to tag me on social media I love when you guys tag me on stuff or when you guys tell me how your um, holiday dinners went or if you use any of my stuff so now you want to go ahead and take your cherries and just place them in between each of them again it don't have to be anything super fancy once we put in the cake batter it's all gonna come out perfect just like this this looks so pretty already just like that you guys see that now we can go move on into making our cake batter alright guys now to get started on the cake batter I'm using my kitchen aid mixer but if you don't have one you can definitely use a hand mixer or any electric mixer now all I'm going to do is turn on my mixer on low and then let the butter mix for about one minute until it's nice and soft and as that's going I'm gonna go ahead and put in my sugar nice and slow just like that and I'm going to let that get nice and soft for about a minute so let it mix for a minute 
Now that it's nice and fluffy, you want to go ahead and add in your oil. And let that mix as well. And I'm going to go ahead and put in my vanilla extract. Don't forget to check the description box for um, the list of ingredients. And now I'm going to go ahead and add in my egg. Nice and slow. Just like that. And I will let that mix for another minute. Okay, to that I'm going to go ahead and add about three tablespoons of that pineapple juice. for that exciting part where we just pour in the batter nice and even just like that if you haven't please go follow me on Instagram go like my Facebook page and come snap with me on snapchat and also go check me out on Twitter and don't forget to check out my other YouTube channel on here um, it's a food channel also, but I make the videos and I speak Creole instead of English. So if you are Haitian, please check out that channel. I will leave all the link down in the description box for you guys to check out. Just like that. I am so excited for the holidays. I'm always excited for the holidays. But I just love when my husband takes some time off work just to spend it with that with me and the kids. Alright, so now I'm going to do a little shake shake shake. And now we are going to place this in a 350 degrees degree oven for 30 minutes and I like to turn it down to 325 after 30 minutes and then just let it cook until you can take a toothpick or a knife and run in between and then if that toothpick or knife come out clean then you know your cake is done all right guys my upside down pineapple cake is done um, after the 30 minutes I turned the oven down to 325 and I let it bake for another 15 minutes and now and then I let it cool down for five minutes and now I am going to place a flat plate on top and now we are going to be doing the flipping. So just put a plate on top and basically turn it upside down. Just like that. Hopefully this is not too hot for my hands and then just pull it out. 
and this is your upside down pineapple cake as you can see it is gorgeous just how we want it to look um i would cut into this but i want it to stay as pretty but you guys can see that the cake batter is cooked so i'm just gonna take a little pinch off of this side here you can see it is perfectly cooked and it tastes pretty good so hopefully you guys will try this video over the holidays this is an easy easy pretty um dessert that you can have on your holiday table but this will do it for this video guys please don't forget to subscribe to the channel comment like and share and as always thank you guys so so much for watching and i hope everyone is having a happy and blessed holidays and i love you guys for watching see you in my next video bye bye